Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Shelby. Welcome back to my channel, Grace with Books. Today I'm going to be unboxing the July Fairy Loot. Obviously, this is a very late unboxing, seeing as it is late August. A lot of Fairy Loot's packages have been delayed due to COVID-19, as well as all the issues happening right now with the United States Postal Service, but they have been very open about it. They have been in communication with all of their subscribers, so I feel very confident with how Fairy Loot is handling all of this, and I'm so excited to finally have the July box in front of me, and I can't wait to unbox it for you guys. She did come in a bit of a rough shape, but you know, it's fine what matters is what's on the inside of it so let's get to unboxing as usual you guys get the first look in three two one Ooh, you can't really see much from here so let's just get right into it first we have the art for the theme of the month which is resilient royals I love everything royalty so I'm really excited about this and on the back you have the spoiler card which we are not gonna look at Ugh, but I am in love with this art I think it's so pretty the little packaging stuff is gold usually it's purple that's fancy and the first thing I am seeing is a wrapped something I don't know I feel like it's an extra surprise when you get to like unwrap what they have okay ready oh my goodness these are magnetic bookmarks from Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez, which I think was the January book of the month for Fairy Loot. It is also definitely one of my favorite covers of the year. And these are animals from the cover, which are so cute. You have a sloth, a llama, and I think that's a cheetah or a leopard. Sloths are my favorite animals, so I'm definitely excited to use that one. But I love magnetic bookmarks. I don't have that many, and I think they're very useful so I'm super excited to use these just gonna put this back here for right now next up I'm seeing some kind of like fabric thing let's see oh wow oh wow oh my goodness this is stunning oh there it is okay so without even looking at the spoiler card i can already tell what this is it is a crescent city house of earth and blood pillowcase by sarah j mass it is beautiful it looks just like the cover of the book the front quote says through love all is possible and then the back i think has all the different i think it's like the map of the city so stunning such good quality i think all of my pillows are are too small for this so I might have to buy one especially for it but it is beautiful it's super nice material and I just think it's so cute House of Earth and Blood is definitely one of my favorite books so far of 2020 so I'm super excited to have this gorgeous pillowcase to match all right next up I am seeing a candle oh my goodness I love candles I'm so excited and this is from In the Wick of Time, and it is an Ash Princess themed candle. So Ash Princess is by Laura Sebastian, definitely one of my favorite series that isn't talked about a lot in the book community, but I think it is fabulous. This specific candle is called Ash Crown, and it smells like black currant tea. I could smell that forever. Like, I just... Whew. I love this. I love this so much. Yes, I love any time fairy loot includes candles. I just, I adore candles. I use them all the time and it's fall is coming up, which is when I probably use my candles the most. So super happy with this. Okay, you guys, next up we have this little packed thing. Let's see. Oh, it's like a little wallet. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh, it feels nice too. And according to the back of the packaging, it is the Queen's Rising card holder. I have I haven't read that but this is so incredibly stunning I think it is a beautiful design so yeah I definitely might actually use this a really nice material and I have so many like credit cards and stuff and IDs that I have in my wallet so this definitely might be more accessible but you know it's just really pretty and I'm really really happy with this so next up I am seeing a print I do not know who this is it's very pretty I mean it's a stunning print Let's see, it is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I've seen a lot of things about this book. I think I would really enjoy it. I just have not gone around to checking it out from my library or buying it, but this is a really pretty art print and it's kind of making me want to know who these characters are and like what they're about. So this is definitely a book I might be reading this winter. It definitely looks like a fall winter type of book. So super exciting. I love when I get new recommendations from things from Fairy Loot. So I think that is is everything. Oh, nope, we got some tarot cards. Ooh, 
They gave us a lot of tarot cards. Usually in every Fairy Loot box there are two tarot cards, but this time there are four tarot cards. Ooh, fancy. Alrighty then. <laughs> so we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Wow, that was so out of order. <laughs> so from looking at our characters on here, I'm gonna say this is a darker shade of magic just because Kel, I think this is Kel, is in his like red jacket that he always wears. And this I think is Lila. And I cannot for the life of me remember these two characters' names. So sorry, but I think this is definitely a darker shade of magic. Yeah, they even have the different Londons in the background in The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Uh, there are different types of Londons. There's White London, Black London, Red London, and I think Gray London. So in the back of each of the characters, you have like the color of their London. So I think that's super interesting. Yeah, I definitely think this is A Darker Shade of Magic whoop, by V.E. Schwab. All right, moving all this gold stuff aside, I think we are at the book. Right now we're gonna pull all the extra stuff out of here just to see it. First up we have the fairy scoop which is in every single box that tells you a bit more about the book that was given as well as next month's theme which is let the games begin which I think should be really interesting. Then we have a bookmark with the spoiler card art on it which looks like this. Sorry my light ring keeps getting in the way but super cute. And finally we have an art print from the book that they gave us as well as a letter from the author which I'll be reading afterwards. It looks super pretty by the way. And now it is time to see what the book is this month in three, two... <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. Ooh, I've been seeing this book a lot of places. I was curious about it. Oh my goodness, there's dark sprayed edges. <gasps> there's black sprayed edges. I love black sprayed edges. All right, we do have this edition signed from the author. Let's see if there's anything inside the cover. <gasps> oh my goodness. So. There's no inside the cover art, but there is some beautiful embossing. Can you see that? I think you can like slightly see there's just like some embossing inside the cover that is absolutely stunning. It kind of reminds me of like a Celtic symbol. I don't know. And on the cover, it says an ancient evil, a broken kingdom, and one girl with the secret to save the world. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna read the description now. So just prepare yourself for my dramatic reading. The kingdom of Helendi is in trouble. It's losing the war at its borders and rumors of a new, deadlier threat have surfaced. Princess J Jean Sara, Jen, Jen Sara, Jen, Jenny Sara, oh dang, knows her skills on the battlefield would make her an asset and wants to help, but her father has other plans. Ooh, okay. Second born heir to the throne, Jenna, okay, good, we don't have to call her by her full name. Jenna lacks the firstborns, her older brothers, magical abilities. So the king promises her hand in marriage to to the prince of neighboring Turia in exchange for resources Helendi needs. Jenna has no choice. She must leave behind everything she has ever known if she is to give her people a chance at peace. So second born heir, arranged marriage, world at war. Sounds good so far. On the journey to reach her betrothed at her new home, the royal caravan is ambushed and Jenna realizes the rumors were wrong. The new threat is worse than anyone imagined. Now Jenna must decide if revealing a dangerous secret is worth the cost before it's too late for her and her entire kingdom. Ooh, this seems pretty interesting. I'm always up for a badass or, you know, resilient royal story. The cover is beautiful. I wonder who did the cover art because it is stunning. And I'm honestly pretty excited for this book. I think it's going to be a fun, badass heroine. And I'm excited to see how she handles this obviously bad situation she has been put in. Yeah, that is the July Fairy Loot Box. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below what your favorite item was. For my favorite item, I am torn between the magnetic woven in moonlight bookmarks and the Ash Princess candle. So let me know down below what yours was. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to get updates on when I post. I post every single Monday and Thursday. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!